got a message from my old pal Isis down in Kitra. Hey Spence, um, so I have a question. Uh, I'm hiding out from remote kindergarten right now and I'm thinking about spring, I'm thinking about cocktails um, and specifically I usually make a Chambord Collins, um, Chambord fruity, delicious, underutilized. Um, just wondering if you have any ideas about what else I could do with that. Mm -hmm. Well, Isis, like many people have been working hard, making sure their children are getting all learnt up at home. So let's make her a nice cocktail, what do you say? She normally makes, as she said, a Collins, which I have my notes right here, <clears throat> is as follows. That's a uh, simple syrup, gin, lemon juice, and club soda with the Chambord as well. Uh, so yeah, that sounds very refreshing, very citrusy. I've been, because we've made a couple of drinks with whiskey that have been refreshing, so I've been, that got my wheels turning. Oh, also I should mention, what is Chambord? Uh, when I used to bartend, we referred to this as the Holy Hand Grenade, and it's a uh, uh, French raspberry liqueur that smells so good. It smells so good, like ice cream good. That's how this smells. Um, yeah. It's a uh, you know, low ABV, high flavor, and it's also, fun fact, I feel like I'm learning so much about cognac, it is also cognac based. I had no idea I was so surrounded by cognac. And it's also surprising to me that I didn't know this when I was bartending professionally. Probably should have. Fake it till you make it, folks. All right. So yeah, I wanna make a delicious whiskey based cocktail because it's kind of hard to do that. Whiskey, you think normally, sitting down, sipping, thinking about things, stroke your beard, read a map or something really that makes you look interesting, stare at taxidermy kind of vibe. But I like to try to find refreshing whiskey cocktails. She said spring, summer, like being outside. So that's the vibe. I'm doing a take on an existing drink called a Pisco Bramble. And we are going to make a Scotch Bramble. So let's build this drink in our shaker full of ice. Let's add the following. Two ounces of single malt scotch. What? what? Scotch in a cocktail? Blasphemy, possibly. But uh, I like the Glen Morangi, or it's probably not, it's probably pronounced Glen Morangi. If you're Scottish, I'm not. I'm from York, Maine. Glen Morangi, that's how I read it. And it is a single malt scotch whiskey. It's nice because it's not the most expensive. You know, scotch can be pretty spendy. Also, scotch can be really intense depending on the region you get it from. It can really like blast you in the face with flavor. Uh, Glen Morangi's a little more subdued. It's just a little more mellow. It's just hanging out. Tastes like it smells, as most things do. So, two ounces of Glen Morangi. It's in the movie. A half ounce of fresh lime juice. It's in the movie. A half ounce of simple syrup. Also in the movie. And lastly, a half ounce from the Herli Hand Grenade of Chambord. Stir until cold. and then strain into a rocks glass full of ice. Indeed, indeed. Doesn't look like a whiskey drink, does it? I don't think it does. Then we're gonna garnish it with a lime wheel. You could also garnish it with raspberries and a little bit of mint if you want. I didn't have time to make it to the market today, so I only have the limes, sorry. Zhuzh it with a little lime wheel. I like how that looks. Cheers. I did it. Well, I'm retired now. Thank you. No, it's um, 
the Glen Morangi is the right choice. It's just, it's hanging out in there. It's giving all of its notes, which are subtle, being very supportive and just letting the brightness of the lime juice and the sweetness and just awesome, like I said, ice cream fruity flavor of the Chambord really shine through this. Isis, I really sincerely think you like this drink. So thank you for the question and thank you for watching. This has been the Scotch Bramble and this has been Happy Hour brought to you by Main Spirits. You can learn more about this drink and many other drinks at mainspirits.com. You can download their app for your smartphone, which is a smart move because it's a wealth of information. What to buy, where to buy it, and what to make with it. You can also follow them on Instagram at main underscore spirits. And as always, we beg you to drink deliciously and responsibly. Whew.